What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So in this video today, we are going to be talking about the brand new data download. So uh, version 9.6 is now in the game. Uh, massive maintenance. The, the maintenance went for an additional one and a half hours, which did kind of suck. But we're here now. We're in the game. Huge data download. I think it was 86 megabytes, which is a pretty big data download for One Piece Treasure Cruise standards. And uh, that introduced a bunch of new banners. Obviously, we've got the Doflamingo event that's out right now. I'll be uploading videos pertaining to that soon as well but uh in this video today i want to be talking about the sugo fest structure for the upcoming 60 million download celebration sugo fest which introduces two brand new sugo fest exclusive pudding and nami and robin we did all predict this was going to be happening so in this video i want to talk about the sugo fest structure as a whole and just give my thoughts and opinions as to whether or not it's worth pulling um i, I do have to say it's a pretty interesting banner and i think a lot of people are going to be pulling here i myself will be doing just a few pulls i'm not going to be going crazy on this banner but it is interesting, and I want to give my thoughts and opinions for you guys. Also, I'll be uploading another video where I talk about all of the characters in greater detail that are debuting in this banner. So if you want to stay tuned for that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to stay tuned because I will be uploading a video talking about all of the characters in greater detail so you guys know what they do and how they synergize with each other. They're very, very good characters. But um, first of all, we can see here we get a free multi-pull during this celebration. Uh, also, I forgot to mention this banner will be going live on the 28th of June, so straight after after the Doflamingo event, the, the Doflamingo event, this is going to be going live. So make sure to, you know, be, be wary of that. So yeah, we get a free multi. And if we go to the event information for the free multi, it gives us a little bit more info, right? So it says 60 million downloads Sugo Fest, which is a great, great celebration. Um, so thank you to everyone. The English, French, and Korean language versions of One Piece Treasure Cruise have reached a total of 60 million downloads. As a thank you, the Sugo Fest will have two times legend rate and also one free try at 10 plus one rare recruit as well. The new Nami, Robin, and uh, Pudding appear as voiced Sugo Fest exclusives. And there's more information which will go through that. Uh, all wanted posts is a four star or better. And that's basically it. Um, the free multi, I believe, will not have two times Sugo Fest exclusive rates. But I could be wrong there. But most of the free multis don't have the higher chances to get legends. But either way, a free multi is always good. I love to see the free multis. Um, there are three different parts here. So you've got a part one, which uh, features both of the brand new legends. Then you've got a uh, you've got a part two, which uh, features mainly Nami and Robin. And then you've got a part three, which features mainly pudding um so we'll just go through the steps because the, the steps are pretty much the same no matter which sugo fest part you're pulling on so the first multi is discounted at 30 rainbow gems you've got uh, a, a the, the guaranteed legend uh, after three multis which is fine um you've got a guaranteed legend after six multis then after eight you've also got a legend and then if you go to 10 you get a rate boosted sugo fest exclusive um so that's that's fair honestly um then you've got another rate boosted sugo fest exclusive on 12 15 is going to be another rate boosted legend 18 is a rate boosted legend uh the 20th multi is a legend that debuted within the past 12 months of release which is good but it also depends on what the rate boosted legend list is going to be like obviously right now we can't tell who's going to be in that rate boosted list but I'm not really too sure how it's going to be structured, but, you know, the characters that are in the Rate Boosted list, that might be a smaller list than the characters that are in the past 12 months of release. So if you're specifically looking for, like, the new batch characters, like, specifically Nami and Robin or Pudding, I think that debuting within the past 12 months is actually a little worse. But then again, there's a greater pool of legends that are going to be, like, top-tier amazing legends you could possibly get from that. But if you're specifically looking for Nami, Robin, or Pudding, that's actually not the best, but... Either way, you can still get some really, really good legends there. 22 is another rate boosted. Then 25 goes back to a within the past 12 months of a release legend poster. So that's the way that this is going to be structured. I do not recommend doing crazy amounts of multis on this banner because... The French anniversary, for those of you who don't know, it typically falls on the final week of July or the start of, of August, right? So that is really not far away, legitimately one month away. That is when I suggest pulling next, if you do have the itch to pull. Saying that though, you know, this banner being a double legend rate, that would probably tempt a lot of players. Um, so it's very intriguing. It, it's it's very, very intriguing. Um, as for the other banners, there's also a support banner here for this brand new carrot. I guess we can go ahead and talk about her really quick. So what is it here? You've got a 30 gem multi, a support rare recruit guaranteed on the second multi. That's pretty intriguing. Third is a legend. Fourth is another support uh, rare recruit exclusive. And then a rate boosted character, Sugo Fest exclusive, rate boosted, another one. Okay, this is a very interesting Sugo Fest. Uh, most support banners do not have 
steps like this. Um, I myself would be personally tempted to go ahead to the to do the second multi because I personally don't own Brulee, Sengoku, or Carrot on this banner, and unfortunately we can't see the uh, the steps here. But this Carrot is really really good for the Nami and Robin that's going to be featured in the Sugo Fest. So uh, obviously Carrot fanboys or fangirls out there are going to be very very excited for this unit. I know uh, my man Job is going to be. He's going to be doing some crazy amount of multis for this unit, so uh, hopefully he gets some good luck, but this carrot support effect will attach to Nami, Wanda, or Chiffon, so it's mainly supposed to be used with, you know, Nami, Robin, but obviously there are other uses for it. So mainly when you get it maxed out, it adds 8% of her base stats to that unit, and then the character that is supported, if that unit hits a perfect, it removes the enemy's blue shield defense up by two turns, and this is a passive effect that's active all the time. So no matter what, as long as you keep hitting perfects, you just keep reducing it by two turns. It's a fantastic effect. You're not going to be using it all the time, but in very niche circumstances, you literally won't have to bring an increased defense removal or a defense reducer. You can just slap this support on, hit it perfect, and then the rest of your characters can then just hit normally through the blue shield, which is fantastic, right? So it's a very, very unique type of effect. But it, oh, Koshiro is boosted here as well. Oh my god. This band is actually looking pretty clean, not going to lie. I might do two multis, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. But, um, but yeah, as I said, moving on to, uh, you got part one here, which as we said, it had those same steps. There's a lot of good steps here, but you shouldn't be doing that many multis because in my personal opinion, I personally think this is probably one of the most overrated Sugo Fest batches of all time, just because of how many amazing legends that are on the horizon. I just do not suggest pulling here. I just, I can't, I can't recommend pulling here personally. Um, as for part two, you can see that the, uh, the the characters on the banner have slightly changed. You've got Luffy and Zoro rate boosted here. So if you are wanting to pull and you don't have Luffy and Zoro, this might be a banner that you might want to consider doing a couple of pulls on. But when you look at the steps, the steps are actually identical to the steps that were available on part one. 30 gems, legend, 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 rate boost, rate boost, rate boost, rate boost, uh, 12 month, rate boost, 12 month. So it's kind of weird because a lot of people were predicting the fact that, you know, the Luffy, Zora, and Serba Mask banner had them guaranteed after 30 multis that potentially they were going to do it also for Nami Robin. Um, so this also throws into a lot of people's speculation for Shanks crew and Arlong crew, who are the scheduled next batch to release. Uh, according to JP scheduling, uh, are they going to have the guaranteed, you know, after 20 or 30 multis? Well, that's actually when it first debuted on Japan. The Shanks crew and also the uh, Arlong crew were actually guaranteed on 30 multis. That was the first banner that did that on JP. But if we go by the JP scheduling, as I said, it is the next legend to arrive, which would actually fall on the French anniversary. Now, a lot of people are hoping that the, because it is our French anniversary, maybe we might get it after 20 multis, potentially. That's what I'm hoping, because if they do guaranteed Shanks or Arlong after 20 multis, that's going to tempt a bunch of people to do it. And I think it's a pretty smart idea for them to do it. But I digress. Um, talking about this banner once again, part three, you can see that Pudding and Sober Mask are going to be available on this particular banner. Um, obviously, I know that a lot of people are fanboying and fangirling over Nami, Robin, and Pudding, but I, I do have to say, in my opinion, I think they're extremely overrated and you should wait for those higher tier characters because these characters are good. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, these characters are good, but the characters that are coming next are just so much better and they see so much more play compared to Pudding and Nami Robin. Not saying you can't use them, but it's a lot easier to use some of the characters that are coming up next compared to Nami Robin or Pudding. Uh, but they do have very, very cool effects, right? Um, again, this banner is the exact same as part one and part two with 30 gems, legend, 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 rate boost, rate boost, rate boost, rate boost, 12 month, rate boost, 12 month. Uh, it would have been nice if they at least had them guaranteed after 30 multis for those people that really wanted to go above and beyond and get them. It would have been nice if they just did it. Even though if you do that, you kind of eat glue. I just have to say it. If you do, if you, if you would have done that, I think that you just eat massive amounts of glue because considering what we have coming up, I just don't think it's a really smart idea. But I know there's going to be people out there that are going to be doing a bunch of pulls for, for Nami, Robin, and Pudding. And of course, you guys are going to be seeing my other video that I'm going to be uploading very, very soon where I talk about these characters in greater detail these characters have some of the most unique and powerful specials in the game but in my personal opinion they don't really see that much play and even if they do see play yeah they are pretty cool but in my opinion i do think it's a much more 
healthier investment on, of your gems to spend them on the Shanks crew banner and the Arlong crew banner. Or if you want to go even further, you could potentially save your gems for the V2 Snake Man, Sabo, Blackbeard, V2 Katakuri, or V3 Katakuri banner, which was the JP 6th anniversary event. Which also, I think, makes a lot of sense if you want to save for that, because that banner is going to be absolutely crazy. So, it is really up to you at the end of the day. I'm just giving my thoughts and opinions here. I do not suggest doing summons on this banner, especially if you're free to play. Look, I think that it, it may be doing the 30 gem. I think that's still kind of fair, because especially if you're able to clear those Garp challenges, they get reset every single month, which gives you a pretty good amount of gems per month. So, you know, that's something to, to think about. But... If you are free to play, I would suggest waiting to the French anniversary because it's literally one month away. Literally one month away before we got the uh, the French anniversary Sugarfest, which, you know, might be a double legend rate, might be a 2.5 times legend rate. We'll have to wait and see. But that's what I think is the best way forward here. But obviously, it's your thoughts and opinions at the end of the day. I'm just giving you my recommendation. But that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Nothing really too much to say about these banners. They, they seem okay, but I was kind of expecting a little bit more. And look, just looking at, it, at my personal standpoint, I just don't think these characters are worth going all in on. But that's going to wrap up this one today. As I said, I'm going to be uploading a video very soon talking about each of these characters in greater detail. So make sure to stay subscribed to the channel to see all the information about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.